Well, this is not your regular Mandela Effect video. Because you have seen them all before, why add in one more just for the likes, for the views, the advertising? I'm not going to lie to you saying that I know the answers for the Mandela Effect, what is the source of all of those changes. Whoever says that knows the answers for this, is fucking lying. Not in this channel. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it, but from a pragmatic perspective. Not taking any possible answer as an absolute truth, not dismissing any other because it sounds crazy, because everything is possible. And there is also too much bullshit. Let's take it easy. I am Ingeniero M and this is Pragmatica Imperfecta. not just about minor details that anybody could have missed, we're talking about modern history, flagships, milestones, things that have been imitated, reproduced for many years, decades, phrases that are part of our common language now. So how is it possible that we have been saying it wrong for all those years and many people around the world, thousands? But we will go deeper eventually. At this moment, let's talk first about the main character here that is Nelson Mandela. We all know he died in 2013, December 2013 to be more accurate. Nonetheless, many people remember him dying back in the 80s, 90s, and even details about the funeral. How can you explain that? Well, simple. Confusion. But just hold on, there's more than that, too much more. And despite being called the Mandela effect, there's much more than Mandela about that effect. So to keep things clear, what is the Mandela effect? The commonly accepted definition is a known fact that is different from the way it is remembered by many people. And this does not apply to known changes to like products or company logos or any other thing that went into any change. You know what I mean? Extended cuts in films or remastered songs. You know, I believe this is pretty clear, right? Therefore, the Mandela effect is real. Again, Mandela effect is real. And the only fact that matters is that we are remembering things that didn't happen or things which are different from the reality. Listen, I'm not talking about time traveling, parallel universes, the fifth dimension, CERN or whatever. Just memories not matching their reality regardless of why, but matching other people's memories. So I think that's also clear enough, crystal clear. Do you remember a few years ago there were like some quizzes and articles in the web about this, about people remembering things wrong, especially movie quotes, Luke I am your father, Lucy you got some explaining to do, stuff like that. They were quite popular a few years ago, probably it is not a coincidence that most of the Mandela Effect stuff started to happen like five years ago, seven years ago maybe, is when many people say that things started to change. So when those articles came around, many people were like, oh my god, I'm so stupid, I thought all my life that he said, look, I am your father. Oh yeah, there's no dash in the KitKat logo, I'm so stupid. But some others say, hey, wait a minute, I know the Empire Strikes Back, I didn't make that Lucy you got some planning to do thing in my mind, I know the Staples logo, I know the Kit Kat logo, and some say, oh yeah, companies change or refresh their logos every now and then, 
well this is not the case and hey dude i'm 40 years old so i've been living in a life for the last 30 years just don't tell me that bullshit that it is because we didn't have internet before well you know we have internet since early 90s so we have plenty time to discover those changes and show them to the world talk about them in chat websites IRC you know nerdy stuff and we didn't we started to notice the changes five or seven years ago was then when the world changed the collision of the parallel universes upgrade in the matrix sounds crazy right or maybe not we still have some logical explanations for this so what the experts have to say about this well listen carefully the Mandela effect can be originated by many factors being one of them the confirmation bias something that we do very often when we are researching something we give a bigger weight to any finding that supports the hypothesis that we already like we do it every day in social networking and reading news and stuff so we also have the cryptomnesia this is when our brains put false data into real memories and we all do it unconsciously is normal so we also have the cognitive dissonance which is our brain rejecting some real attributes because they don't seem to match probably our memories are not trustable right well yes and no thinking a little bit like a conspiranoid i say to myself the system doesn't want me to trust my instincts nor my memories but I don't want to be the one wearing the teen foil hat here so I'm not rejecting ad hominem neither give too much credit to these guys I believe we can find some balance right because even a broken clock is accurate twice a day right okay next thing we will say way too often that something was but now is that something has changed and that will be to describe the memory versus the actual fact because officially it never changed it has always been like that and the last important topic to cover here is the residue which basically is something that escaped yeah let's say it like that escaped the change in the matrix an object that is compliant with the old memory and not with the actual thing let's have an example it is not that the new editions of the empire strikes back have changed the iconic phrase of look i am your father to no i am your father we know there are a lot of new add-ons on those movies it's, it's not like that the thing is that if you go and find your old vhs and play it if you still have something to play it you'll see that it also says no i am your father instead of look i am your father so it has always been no i am your father at least in this version of the matrix or this reality whatever you want to call it so you want to find some residues the first of them will be your own memory now let's pretend you used to draw scenes of your favorite movies back when you were a kid or a teenager and you still have those drawings somewhere take a look on them and surprisingly what you wrote there is look i am your father the wrong line the same wrong line that everybody uses and have been using for the last 40 years even james earl jones have been using the wrong line all these years in interviews he doesn't know his lines especially a famous one you know what i'm talking about there's something wrong here and it's not just our memories but careful i'm not saying i'm giving my thumbs up to the theory of the alternate universes what i mean is something happened it's not all about bad memories it may be in some cases many many cases but not all of them we will find many answers in psychology 
But you never know, we may be able to find some answers in quantum mechanics as well. Just keep an open mind. So this was just an explanation, a description, and we will go into deep in new next videos. Bear with me. Please give me your comments and uh, we'll talk about it. Thank you for watching.